So I want to go off starting by just introducing this amazing panel of people who are not just YouTubers, but we also have someone who does Twitch. And I'm going to start off with Rusha Lin, also known on YouTube as Rusha Lin. And she's a content creator, YouTuber, and she knows about monetization. What I love about her is not only is she an accomplished Jamaican lifestyle YouTuber, digital entrepreneur, and content creator, but she also has a bachelor's in business administration with a focus in finance and banking. So that's a double-edged sword, right? And she lives by the mantra, trust the journey. And she also encourages her viewers to say, hashtag, let's go, let's go, let's go. And next up, Ryan, Ryan, who is our Twitcher here. He's a Twitch streamer. And his Twitch name is Gimme That Win, which sounds very appropriate, I might add. And he's also into content creation equipment and tech. And he's just someone who has an amazing personality that engages with his audience through the love of tech and anime. And he's just one of the few amazing Jamaican, Caribbean-based Twitchers that are well-known. And then we have Shanice Smith, Shanice Shamzenzen, YouTuber extraordinaire. And she focuses on YouTube and content. She's a powerful YouTube and content creator, but she's also, I might add, a mompreneur as well. And she is in her own right an ambassador for Jamaica. And she has a beautiful philosophy that says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Yes. And last, but definitely not least, another amazing YouTube Twitcher is Shanique Ken. So he, she is obviously a content creator, but what I find interesting the most about her is that she also does Jamaican esports initiative. So she does esports, casual gaming, streaming and content, and ICT. So our panel is not only just about YouTube and Twitching, but they also have a very extensive background in tech, and they also have their own background in other things that are outside of YouTube and Twitching, which begs the question, how did you guys get started and how did you find the idea for your YouTube or Twitch channel? And Shan Zen Zen. Oh, okay, good evening, everyone. Thanks for having me, Kadia. I'm co-panelist. Hi, how are you doing? And Victoria, hello to you also. So um, I started my YouTube journey less than a year ago. Next week would be one um, I've been on YouTube. So I, I can say I'm, I'm the youngest one here in terms of how long I've been a YouTuber. But um, originally when I started my YouTube channel, I wanted to start off by showcasing my parish, which is St. Elizabeth. So I wanted to showcase the beauty of the parish and farming is a big deal in St. Elizabeth. So I wanted to showcase the farmers in St. Elizabeth. But um, during when I started my channel, the pandemic had hit Jamaica and I was afraid to go out there. So I started just doing random videos. I started with my weight loss journey. Um, that's another thing because I lost the weight, weight and then I gained it. <laughs> COVID no, I was, wait, don't I worry. Watching, I was getting 150 views, 200 views, and it, um, it wasn't working. I had at that point, I had about 70 subscribers, and then I started um, interacting with other YouTubers and just um, sh um, sharing my my channel. I only have an Instagram page. Gee, I'm working on the other social medias um, as I go along. But um, yeah, that's how I started. And then after a while, I started to do videos showcasing um, traditional crafts and um, farmers. I started to just go out there and do it, farm videos. And I realized that persons were really, really interested in those videos. And in so- In farming videos. Right. So when the farming videos started, started to take off, I started doing more of those videos. And I realized that um, I started to create a little niche for myself and I just go with the flow. So I do mostly farm videos, but I do other videos showcasing the parish, showcasing um, Jamaican crafts, as I said, you know, and just highlighting talented Jamaicans. So you took a more Caribbean centric approach after you experimented with a few things that were on the personal side and you realized that 
people were really gravitated towards seeing culture, cultivation, and just farming in a unique Jamaican perspective. Uh, Rochelle, I well, Rochelle, I know Rochelle is your YouTube name. <laughs> I'm sure you're used to people calling you by your YouTube name rather than Rochelle. She's muted. She's muted, yeah. Um, I'm so sorry. Unmute Rochelle. Yes, I'm unmuted. No, thank you. Um, it doesn't matter. I answer to whatever I'm called. Rochelle and Rochelle, whichever works. <laughs> okay, so do you copyright your own content? And how do you stop from getting three copyright strikes for YouTube to decide like, okay, despite all your hard work, we're just going to take everything away from you? So... And in YouTube studios, YouTube studios have some music that are um, not copyright and that mm -hmm. you actually use on your content. And there are some music that are copyright, but all you have to do is give the attributes to the, um, to the creators of the music. When you say give attributes, what do you mean? Put it in the description or talk right. to In the description, oh. right. You copy and paste it in the, the description of that particular video. Okay. Um, also, as it relates to the copyright, um, copyright, the, the standard copyright and the creative commons, right? So with the standard copyright, um, you own the content, right? You own your content, YouTube copyrights it. So if somebody uses your content, you're going to get a message that uh, for a copyright claim. And you can actually, um, if you want to copyright claim it, you can go ahead and do it or you can just leave it. For instance, if you do, sometimes you do collaborations and it, the person um, posts the same video you post, so you get that um, copyright. Notification. Right, right. So you have the option to claim it or you just leave it as is. Okay, all right. right. That, that works. And then with the, with, the, um, with the creative commons, you give persons the option to use your content, reuse it, edit it, and use it, but of course they have to give you that, just like um, Rachelin said, that right. attribute, yeah. So guys, while you're making your videos, while you're pushing them out, try to avoid that so that you don't get three strikes, because we want YouTube channel to be up. What I also want to want to it's crazy, because for me, I got the three strikes because I did not check my- So I'm hearing that YouTube has more flexibility in terms of how you can be paid out. Mm -hmm. Don't actually, I don't get that option, Rachelin, that you get to be paid. Like by a Western Union, I only got the option for, for getting paid through bank, through the bank. The option is there. <laughs> so it sounds like Rachelle needs to do a how to get paid from monetization. So the next question I have is what a lot of people focus a lot on monetizing more than anything else what are some tips and i'd like one tip from each of you a nice short sweet tip on what are some things that you should focus on like if you the current you went back to the past and was like this is this is one thing you should focus on while you're building this thing to get to where we need to go what would you tell that creator and that's the advice we'd share with our audience consistency um, all right consistency yeah. consistency so consistency it is one of the most important parts of content creation. I cannot stress enough how persistence, consistency, they go hand in hand. Honestly, the night. there are many days that I woke up and I felt defeated because I felt like my channel wasn't going anywhere. I thought I would never get monetized and be able to get paid doing something that I love. But consistency making sure that you are there even when you don't feel like being there you put out that content even if it's just to relate to your audience to say i didn't really feel so well today doing this mm -hmm. i know you guys got my back so i had to drop something for you it really goes a long way in building your brand overall nice shen zen zen drop a drop a one jemmy to tell yourself or for anybody starting out I would say similar to what um, Give Me That Win said, I would say um, stay, being consistent, try to remain relevant and try to build a community around your brand. Um, replying to the comments in the comments section, trying to reply to emails is very important. So that's what I would say. All right, Anik, what about you? One final thing you'd like to share with our audience? 
consistency for sure. And um, one of the things too is that I'd say be you, um, especially for gaming, be you. Your personality is what shines. Your personality is what brings people to you. Um, authenticity, so, guys. Yes, definitely your authenticity. Um, and also the consistency. So that's what I'll say. Ensure you focus on those two things. And you, you and, and grind. Continuous the grind. Even if you have one viewer, continuous the grind. <laughs> yeah. Rochelleine, drop your last amazing gem. YouTube extraordinaire. Oh, thank you but um i feel my my um fellow content creators on here basically said it all we know the key the formula to this thing is consistency and being and i would say for me just uh find your voice in the space be consistent be authentic you know as rochelle said be you don't fake it shen as in you know putting in the work, grinding on it. So that's that. That's everything encompassed. It sounds really simple, but it's a long journey and it works in the end. So lastly, I'm going to wrap up and I'm going to say to each of my speakers, where can we find you online so that these amazing... people can find you Rochelle can go first where can we find you on okay. I'm at Rochelle on all social media platforms so that's YouTube Instagram Twitter TikTok Snapchat anywhere Rochelle which is R-O-C-H-I-E-L-I-N there you go give me that win <laughs> all right yeah um so Clear the air, common misconception. People say, give me that win, but it's actually give me the win. So there's... It's a Jamaican in me. It's a Jamaican yeah. in me. It's a Jamaican Trust in me. Yeah. I, I regretted <laughs> it after I made the name. I was like, damn it. I should have said that instead yeah. of... But it's all good. Um, And give me the win on all social media stuff. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Just made a TikTok account that apparently is doing decent enough. So I'm on TikTok now as well. Uh, so yeah, that's me. Shanique? At Zana Own. I'm at Zana Own on Twitter, on IG, but I mostly use IG. So if you want to find me on socials, it's really I, um, IG, at Zana Own. Nice. Shen Zen Zen. Okay, so I'm only on Instagram for now, but I also have a um, Teespring where you can get my merch. So I'm at Teespring, it's Shenzhen Zen, Jamaican Pass also. So yeah, that's basically it. And my YouTube channel, of course, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to all yeah, of them. Subscribe and subscribe. share. Right. Subscribe. Thank, Thank you, guys. You guys. <laughs> So much, um, so much. Yeah, Victoria. for me again, Victoria. You can find me at Victoria Knows Marketing. I'm gonna restart my YouTube journey based on all the tips everyone has given me here. So if you want to check that out, 